Alright, welcome back guys. So here we are. Uh, I've gone ahead and glued together all four parts of the bottom. And I've finished off the spackling and the washing there. So you can see this is all done on the outside. Now the glue, the doors aren't glued in, but we'll take care of that later. I just don't want them to get messed up. I can glue them in much later. Um, now this is actually glued together, but you also notice I've put some temporary braces here on each corner with just some pins through the foam. That's because I'm going to be doing a lot of work with this up like this, and I don't want it to collapse on me. So I'm trying to make sure things all stay as square as possible. Alright, so we promised stairs. We're going to work on stairs, so let's get set up and we'll be right back. Alright, so I've actually done a bit of the work, but I'm going to show you where I'm at now. And uh, this wasn't terribly hard, but I'll describe to you what I did. So I know the stairs are going back here. We're going to have one flight of stairs going up halfway to a landing, and then the other flight of stairs will come up here. We're going to work on the, the first flight of stairs and the landing today. So, what I've done is, I know the landing is going to be three inches wide, so each flight of stairs is going to be an inch and a half, and the landing needs to be one inch deep. Uh, so I just took a eighth inch sheet of balsa and cut out a one inch by three inch uh, sheet for the landing. So that's going to go here. All right. So we've got our landing. That was simple enough. Now we need the the stringers to put the the actual steps on. So what I did is I cut out a paper pattern. I know that the landing needs to sit an inch and a half up from the bottom. So if I'm doing an inch and a half, I need to take off the eighth inch for the thickness of this. So I'm doing one and three eighths to the top and I just make a paper pattern. So I've got an inch and three eighths. I know this needs to come out an inch for the width um, of the landing. And then I know from figuring this out on the side here that I need my, uh, my steps to be a quarter inch tall and a half inch deep. So I just made a grid on here of half inch lines and quarter inch lines and then I just figured out where I needed my uh, steps to be from to, to reach the top. Now here's an important part. You want to start with your quarter inch measurements from the bottom because up here this step is only an eighth inch high because I've got an eighth inch top on it uh, for the landing so that makes a total of a quarter inch. So you want to make sure you're measuring from the bottom up. Um, so I cut out this paper um, pattern and I just kind of set it in here to make sure everything looked okay so I know how far the stairs are going to come out and there's room for all the other stuff. So that's good. So then I just went back to my eighth inch sheet of uh, balsa wood and put the pattern on there, traced it out, cut it out. All right, so now I've got my eighth inch balsa cut from my pattern. Do a paper pattern first because it's if you screw it up or you've mismeasured or something's wrong, it's much easier to recut one of these and redo one of these than it is one of these. So make sure you got it right with the paper first. Um, so I know this is going to be sitting here. I know I need another set on the inside, so I just cut another um, another sheet of balsa from the pattern. This is going to go here on the inside, and then the landing is going to sit on top of them there. And I want to make sure that I'm one and a half inches from outside to outside here and that things are stable. So what I did is I went back in and I cut um, one and a quarter inch um, out of eighth inch strips of balsa. The reason it's one and a quarter is you got to take off an eighth inch here and an eighth inch here for a total of a quarter inch to get one and a half from the outside to the outside. So I'm going to have a piece that goes in there on that side. I'm going to have a piece that goes in the bottom back here. And I'm going to have a piece that goes in the top. That's just so you're not going to see any of this stuff. Uh, but it's just to make sure it's nice and secure and square and everything's the right size. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and distress the outside part of this. I'm going to distress the top of the landing. Um, I'm not going to distress this, but I am going to stain it in case you see. And then we're just going to do the staining like we did all the other woodwork. So let me go ahead and get that part done, and then we'll come back and take a look at what else we got to do. All right, so I've put this all together. Um, I've just uh, drawn in some planking here, some detail work. You can see I've stained the outsides of these. I didn't bother staining the inside because you're not going to see it. Uh, glued this to the wall, 
um, and we've got our spacers in here to make it nice and, and sturdy spacer in the front and what's going to end up happening is I'm going to be using I haven't cut this of course this is just kind of a scrap piece that I had but it turns out that two of these um, quarter inch by uh, eighth inch pieces the same this is the same stuff we used for the wood on the outside here we can put two of these side by side here um, for each step so that's how we're going to do the steps but I don't want to do that yet that's kind of finish work the next thing that I'm going to want to do is uh, before we finish the steps is figure out how to what we're going to do with the second story or the second flight of stairs because we need to figure out what's going on in here so um, before we figure out the second flight of stairs though I've got to figure out what I need to do to finish off the top how am I going to finish the top here because that may or may not affect the height of the stairs and the math involved here. So, next time we will probably be working on finishing the top off and then talking about what we need to do for the second flight of stairs. So until then, you guys have a good one. Bye.